Hi everybody, it's Goody Parade here with the new 2015 Comic-Con Monster High exclusives. I have Wisp and Valentine, and I have the Vinyl Nephra here, and of course I have Miss Gigi Grant to help uh, welcome her shadow sister Wisp. Look at this box. I mean, wow, that is a haunting image for sure. Looks like there's smoky flames, bats, and then of course this wispy image of Miss Wisp in there. The front does have this little cutout and you can see the little Monster High logo, which I'm presuming is on the doll box. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the side. Again, we have more of these smoky, misty, flamey designs. However, there are also cutouts here too. I don't know if you can really see them, but you can get like a little peekaboo at the box in there. It looks like that might be a little drawing of Valentine right there. And a little bit right there too. Pretty neato. And then the back is fairly simple. I mean, considering uh, with all these smoky flame looking things and a beautiful bat here and the Monster High logo. The top again also has the smoky with a bat. And this side, the other side that we did not see yet, also has a cutout here where you can see the doll box through and touch it, which I really like. It's like a little, a little tease, which course just makes me want to open it even more. Should we open it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, here I am seeing the the diary journals. Okay, and so it is Kieran Valentine. His first name is Kieran, last name Valentine. You'll steal my heart if you read my diary. Oh, we're going to steal his heart. Look at that. Wow, that's really tiny, tiny, tiny printing. Super tiny. Yeah, I might need a magnifying glass tiny. <laughs> or some glasses at least. Okay, I always just go to the pet section. I think I used to be much too selfish to have a pet, but now I understand that these give so much unconditional love that I am rethinking having one. I'm open to any kind of pet except flying monkeys. I really can't talk about it right now. <laughs> okay, cute. And here we have, oh look, her name is Dejini, or is it Jeannie? The D is kind of silent. Jeannie, Jeannie or Ginny? Wisp Grant. Don't you just wish you could read my diary? Well, <clears throat> yes I do, and I'm going to, Missy Miss. And there we have some very pretty feminine writing. And there's her little info thing. And again, let's go to the pet. Oh, she has the scorpion, right? Oh, no, that's uh, Gigi. Hello. When I was wished into existence as a shadow genie, a shadow pet didn't come along with it. Didn't come along. Oh, yeah, didn't come along with it. I'm not sure what kind of pet I'd want. Although I've heard flying monkeys are kind of creepy cool. That's funny. Do, 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 do. Oh, okie doke. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, the first thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that the colors of this box are muted. It's almost like a, a grayscale, uh, black and white type uh feeling because nothing's really popping out as super bright colors so it kind of reminds me of an old time movie type thing which is pretty cool and I guess since she's a shadow genie it makes sense that it would be uh you know kind of dark and muted all right well let's get a look at the box look at them oh my gosh they are amazing here it says Kieran Valentine genie wisp grant Monster High, which is what we saw through the cutout on the box. Wow, there's this, oh look, those are most gonna stick out these little bat wings. Oh, it's a punch out kind of, that's neat. So yeah, there's these bats and the little smoke and then this beautiful drawing of Kier, is it Kieran? Kieran, those fangs out and the little 
bottle genie smoke coming out and this is neat because it's not cardboard under the plastic like uh, the normal boxes it's actually printed on the clear plastic so it's kind of a little bit uh, see-through and then let's look at the sign what do we have here beautiful beautiful Ginny Ginny look at her hair Wow, gorgeous. She does look pretty evil in that picture, though. But wow, the artwork, her elongated arms and fingers. And she here she just goes into a genie tail. No legs, actually. Like a genie coming out of a bottle. And there's another bat. So give you a good look at that. Make sure you get a really good look. Okay, and so if we look in the box more, we can see these bats up here. And once I get them out, we can look at the background a little bit more too. Her beautiful hair. And here is the genie lamp in Kieran's hand. And then, um, I don't know if you can see through here, but she does not have legs. She has kind of like a mermaid body, uh, kind of like a genie tail that what it would look like if she was coming out of a lamp however I do know she comes with snap-on legs and you can see them I don't know if you can see this you can just barely see her feet in the corner here coming out <laughs> and if you look way in here you can see the little top that snaps on to her body so I love that there's an option for her to be a genie or a walking genie I suppose I'd call it Okay, well, let's get them out already. How long have they been in here? Oh, oh, silly me. See how excited I didn't get to the beautiful artwork on the back. Look at that. Look at that. That's like beautiful comic work, comic book art right there. What does it say? How many years has it been? One, a thousand and one. It is easy to lose track of time when there is no sun to rise or set, when the seasons do not change, and when there are no celebrations marked by a date. Is my lantern falling forever through the abyss, or maybe swimming through the ocean depths within the belly of the monstrous beast? What does it mean if a genie is never found? It is not for the genie to dwell over much on such things as the pondering of the unknowable is a distraction for philosophers. I simply wait for the words which will call me to, to service. You are summoned. Well, that's kind of deep and heavy. Well, this is really neat. They put um, the name of the toy designer and the co-writer of this little story, I'm guessing, and probably the um, journal Garrett Sander, toy designer and co-writer. I think that's really cool because the toy designers really are artists. And here it is, Eric Hardy, co-writer, Roy Juarez, packaging designer, Kelly Riley, artist, Elaine Gant, editor, Lauren Yee, packaging engineer, and Melanie Hill, editor. Ooh, I want to be a packaging engineer. That sounds cool. Look at that. I am genie of the lantern. What? is your wish. All right, we should just look at the top. There are a couple bats. And then just the see-through kind of panel. Anything on the bottom? I think we've done the box. Okay, we've done the box. I can open the box. Okay, see how excited I am? All right, again, I'm gonna try and be careful. Normally, I don't worry so much. I do try to preserve the artwork, but I am actually going to try to preserve the box. I have the last two boxes from the last two Comic Cons. Oh, that's not, okay. There we go. If it's not going, I'm not going to really push it too far. Let's see. Is that going to pop out? Oh, I don't know about all this. Oh, is this good enough? Aha! All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, and the box still pretty much one piece. And if I can keep the insert in one piece, I'll be able to slide it right back in there. Oh my gosh, so much better. Wow, no glare. Look at that hair. Look at Kieran staring at her. Just from my first look at him, he looks like he got lost and he should really be an ever after high. 
Look at his gorgeous boots. And over here, you can see her little feet hiding behind here, which is pretty funny. But look at this body tail. It kind of reminds me of Ursula from Little Mermaid. Although there's only one tail, but it has that kind of Ursula vibe. Okay, where's my scissors? Okay, well, I'm going to get them out of this box as careful as I can. I got them out. I'm just going to show a little bit of this box insert before I get onto the dolls. Look, it looks like a, inside a cathedral or something with these beautiful gothic windows here and the staircase. And it looks like there's a little bookcase over there. Pretty. All right. <laughs> On with the dolls already. Please. Okay. Wow. Look at Miss Wisp. Look at her. I don't even think her hair can fit in the whole shot. Now, initially, I'm it's seeming like, oh, there she goes. Oh, wow, look. You know, I thought this was solid black, but it's actually kind of see-through. Can you see my hand back there at all? You can see through it. Wow, that is really something special with that curly tail. Here, you maybe, can you see Wow! Oh my gosh, look at her. She's got her little lightning bolt earrings. And of course she's got the genie long fingers. Let's just bring over Gigi real quick and see how much alike they look. Yeah, it looks like they might be made from exactly the same mold. Just different paint and different hair, I'm guessing. <laughs> so cool and even the outfit looks very similar at least the top part here and here and here okay enough about Gigi we've seen her already come on now um, so she has this gorgeous purple hair all wrapped in her gorgeous little updo which all genies must have and she has moon and stars tattooed on her face and little freckles and this beautiful like purple metallic gray silver uh, lipstick and then she has these marks they look kind of like tattoos but they remind me of like Indian uh, Mendy like the henna tattoos that they do in India and she does bend so she could I guess sit sitting sitting genie <laughs> Okay, look at that. And she has those beautiful long hands with the henna tattoos on her hands, or at least that hand. Little markings on her body. Oh, she is fabulous. I am very excited and happy that they made a wisp. I love her. Do you guys love her? All right. Let's just have a look at this, shall we? Is this disturbing or funny or fabulous <laughs> or all of the above? So she has the trademark little genie pants that look just like Gigi's almost, but with purple metallic design instead of gold. And they're elastic. And she has little wispy things on her legs here and great genie shoes. Look at those. Those are amazing. And then they have little skullet buckles on them. Amazing. All right, well, let's see how difficult or easy it is going to be to snap this off. I should probably like read a direction or something, but I'm just going for it. Whoop! Oh, super easy. See? A little knobby knob there. And a little hole there. So I'm going to take the knob for the legs. Oh, it snaps right there. 
snaps right there. It's a cute little design there, actually, too. Oh, and she looks gorgeous. Gorgeous with legs. Look at that. Legs and shoes. Gosh, I don't know which one I like more. That kind of makes it more frustrating because <laughs> you have to choose. All right, this set did come with two doll stands, even though she stands on her own in the uh, with the tail. They have provided a doll stand for when she has legs, and I'm very happy about that. So I am going to put Miss Jeannie Wisp over here while we have a look at Valentine, this handsome devil. Well, like I said, he just initially definitely looks like uh, he belongs in Ever After High. He does have red and black hair. And he has earrings. Earrings. He is holding this lamp. I think I'm actually going to take that off so we can get a better look at it. Now, what I really noticed about him is this beautiful brocade jacket he has on with the embroidered rose uh, on the bottom and around the edge and the details of his little pocket and the red piping and again the rose embroidered up here on the lapel and then he has a vest wow it looks like a real vest oh look it even has a little buckle in the back let me see if I can look at that that is so cute so detailed wow and then he's got a shirt so this looks like a real shirt not just to you know, sometimes they attach it all together. Oh yeah, look, this is Velcro right here. So let's get a little peekster. Yeah, there's a shirt with his little ascot here. I'm not gonna get too cray cray with this because I don't wanna mess with him. <laughs> and he's got little gold buttons on his vest and a little uh, chain for a pocket watch or something snazzy like that. And he has some pleather some faux leather pants on and of course I love the ruffle coming out of the jacket here and he's kind of a shade of pink I guess for Valentine that would make sense look at that face look at those cheekbones look at the chin the chisel of the chin that is pretty sharp looking so right below his pleather pants are these gorgeous boots. They're kind of like biker boots that lace up, buckles on the side. I'm really excited about that. I think the, the guys in Monster High, they kind of get gypped in the shoe department. But I guess, you know, guys overall, fashion-wise, don't, for the most part, have as many options as us ladies, which is unfortunate for some. Okay, I'm going to put him on his doll stand. And I like it's the clear uh, clip and uh, post kind. I really like that because it doesn't detract from the <clears throat> dolls whatsoever like some of the colored or black stands can. So I am going to have Wisp and Kieran back here, maybe to the side a little bit. And then we can get our hands. Oh, you know what? I forgot one thing. Let's get a look at this little lampsy doodle. It looks a lot like the one that came with Gigi, but we'll just have an extra look see doodle. Oh yeah, it has a little little hook. And it has a little skullet at the top. Gosh, look at the details on that. That's kind of amazing. And there's the bottom base and it does open and I'm presuming this is going to just snap together which it did it goes like that oh it looks like her arm fell out I'm going to just put it on her like a little purse kind of like Gigi had okay where were we we were to the nephra vinyl box goody goody gumdrops I am so excited about this so this nephra vinyl unlike the others is uh a Nefra version from the movie Boo York, Boo York, which is not yet out yet, at least when the time of me filming this video. And so you see the beautiful Boo York City here, looking gorgeous. There it is, the lights of the night. And there's the comet. And there's the big city. How phenomenal is that city? Beautiful. 
And there you go. I did just notice this says for the adult collector ages 14 and up. No more than 7,000 worldwide. Is that good? 7,000? Seems like a lot to me. And there is the beautiful crystal starlit beautiful skullette in the sky. So that's about it. Alright, let's get her open already. Wow, look at that. <laughs> She's in a beautiful pyramid box, obviously. Clear, so you can see her all the way around, which I really like. You could just display her in that if you wanted. I, of course, want to get her out and get a look at her. It says Nephra Denial here, and look at her colors. Oh my gosh, that metallic paint is insane. Nephra has never looked so beautiful, nor feminine, I might add. So here's the skyline, which is also looking very crystally, kind of like crystal rocks type of thing. And then we flip it over, and we also have some skyline scene here, and that gorgeous metallic hair. My gosh, is that stunning, beautiful. And the box is also faceted like a kind of rock crystal, which is really super, super neat. Um, what did I just notice? Oh, here, like the other box, it is showing the toy designer as Ivy Blesser, copywriter Elaine Gant, packaging engineer Lauren Yee, packaging designer Charis Sensoros, oh, sorry, Charis, if I'm saying this wrong, and illustrator Ray Gowdy. If I ruined anybody's names, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pop her open. I mean, I don't really know how to do this. I don't want to ruin the box. But I don't really see how else you're supposed to open her. Anybody? Okay, well, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, wow. Well, also, her plastic that she's in is this beautiful purple, crystally textured looking thingamajigger. Very pretty. Nice packaging design, guys. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful vinyl figure I've ever seen. Gosh, can you really see her? Look at her. She's got this beautiful metallic uh, iridescent hair that's purple and blue with this kind of orange streak going, orange and black streak going through. And then she has this stunning uh, headdress that's a black with snakes in it, very Egyptian. And her uh, Egyptian makeup, she is holding a little crystal. And she looks just like the vinyl version of her Boo York doll with this uh, metallic breastplate plate piece here. And her wraparound shoes. And her from the bottom. Wow, she is really super stunning. So pretty. Does anybody else have her? I just love her. She's going to like knock the socks off of all the other uh, vinyls though. I guess at least till we get the new ones that are going to be Target exclusives. So all right, let's get one more look at Wisp and Kieran. Or it's Jeannie and Kieran who are adorbs. And I love them. And we also do have Gigi here to see her shadow sister. And then we also have Miss Nephra. Gorgeous. All right, guys. Well, that is my 2015 Monster High Comic Con toy opening review. Uh, let me know if you like these dolls as much as I do and which one's your favorite. Okay, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Bye for now. Bye.